Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you an overview and showing you benchmarks for the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 750Ti WinForce 2GB Edition graphics card. So this graphics card is based on the new Maxwell architecture from NVIDIA. And this is their first card using that and is an entry level to budget gamer uh, card. So let's take a closer look at the card itself. I'll tell you all about it. Then I will show you the benchmarks for the card and the accessories that this comes with. So here we have a closer look at the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 750 Ti WinForce Edition graphics card. This is using the new Maxwell architecture from NVIDIA and it does feature 640 CUDA cores, 40 texture units, 16 ROP units, and 1.87 billion transistors on board. This does have a TDP of 60 watts and a thermal threshold of 95 degrees Celsius. So as you can see, this particular model uses a custom cooling solution. We've got two fans here, and you can see a large heat sink in place. If we take a look at this side, you've got a heat pipe going into the heat sink, and you'll actually see that the heat sink itself is offset a little bit. So you've got two fans that are offset a little bit to uh, push plenty of air through the heat sink and keep the noise level down at the same time. Since we're looking at the top of the card, we've got a six pin power connector here. This is additional to the reference board. The reference boards do not have the six pin power connector, so Gigabyte has added that so you can get some extra overclocking power out of this card if you wanted to push it a little bit. You've also got your fan connector here and ultra durable 2 technology, which includes low RDS MOSFETs, ferrite core chokes, and all solid capacitors. So you get a little bit longer life out of the card itself and it will run a little bit cooler using those um, pieces of technology. So the reference card is at a standard 1020 for the core clock and a 1085 megahertz boost clock. This card comes out of the box at 1033 for the standard uh, core and 11, 11 megahertz for the boost clock. The memory is also at 5400 megahertz and is 2 gigs of GDDR5 on a 128 bit bus. As we can see here, we do have our PCI Express 3.0 slot as well. It is a dual card slot, takes up, or dual card, takes up two slots in your system. You've got DVI-I, DVI-D, dual link DVI and you have two HDMI ports here. So the reason why they've put two HDMI ports here is so you can this can support 4K resolutions using both HDMI ports into a 4K monitor. You get 4K at 60 Hertz that way rather than the 30 Hertz. You can power up to four displays the fans are PDM at PWM, so they will adjust based on the temperature of the card. You've also got G-Sync. This is G-Sync ready, so if you end up getting a G-Sync monitor at some point, you'll be able to utilize that technology with this card. So let's take a look at the benchmarks, and then I will show you the accessories for the card. So here we have our accessories. The first thing to note is that all of the connections on this card are covered and filled in to keep 
then protected and dust out of them when it comes out of the box. Secondly, you get a two Molex connector to six pin connector in case your system does not have a six pin connector on the PSU already. You have a CD with your graphics driver as well as the OC Guru 2 utility. And we also have a graphics card quick guide here in multiple languages just to get you started. Some final things to note is that this is a wonderful overclockable card, comes in at a very reasonable price, and the Gigabyte solution is very quiet and keeps the card running nice and cool. It does use a 28 nanometer process, and you also do need a 400 watt power supply to be able to run this properly uh, according to Gigabyte. The reference boards themselves NVIDIA says will run on a 300 watt power supply, but because we have an additional 6 pin connector on this one, you could max that out. Uh, so your best bet is to go with 400 watts or higher. Secondly, for size, just to give you an idea, it's 204 millimeters by 144 millimeters by 42 millimeters. So that is 204 millimeters in length, 104 millimeters in width and in height is 42 millimeters. So that is the Gigabyte WinForce Edition GeForce GTX 750 Ti graphics card. I hope you all enjoyed this overview and benchmarks for the Gigabyte GTX 750 Ti graphics card. For the full review, please see www.hitechlegion.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube Facebook and Twitter pages. Take care.